Hey everybody, it's me, Stephanie R. Bridges, and you are watching Stephanie Renee Styles. And today I have another sheet in haul for you. Today we're going to be looking at dresses, all great for the spring, and they're all monochromatic looks or solid colors, so they would be great to create a monochrome look. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Lego. <laughs> All right, everybody, so this is our first look, and this is a brown midi dress, and it has cutouts. So cutouts are all the rage, cutouts in the front, cutouts, cutouts in the back. And so I wanted to try this dress. I thought the way the holes were, it was strategic enough for me to actually wear it. However, it is giving me some issues and mainly up here with the low cut V. It's super low, so you would probably have to tape, use tape in order to wear this. Uh, I did have on a bra and my bra was just showing completely. So I don't know how functional it would be for me, but um, it is a super cute dress. It's kind of like a waffle uh, knit. Uh, and I don't want to say knit, but it's kind of like a waffle uh, aesthetic with the fabric. And it's very lightweight, so it's going to be excellent for spring. And then it fits kind of loosely down at the bottom. So if you're interested in like a super skinny body con that goes all the way down, this is definitely not the dress. It doesn't have any hold whatsoever. Um, very little stretch. But again, it is a looser fit. I'm wearing it in a size large. And I know I've been telling everyone since the beginning of my channel that I wear a size 10, but I can officially say now that I wear a size 12. So I have gained weight and I'm able to fit a size large. Some of the dresses I'm going to show you are a size extra large, but this one is a size large. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back of the dress and you know, again. <laughs> All right, so this is our next look. And as you can tell, this is much better. It's a much better fit, far more complimentary. So I don't know if you can finagle that other dress, that's great, but I think it's a little bit above my head. So this one is a double breasted blazer dress and this one fits extremely well. I believe this one is a, in an extra large, but I will have all of the sizes down below. It does have stretch. It's kind of like a thinner ponty knit, so it's not a heavy dress, it's still lightweight. But I think the piece de resistance are the sleeves. So I'm just really loving these sheer mesh sleeves and they're very, very comfortable. They kind of just read as lace, but they don't have any of that harsh or prickly feeling. So this dress is very well put together um, and I would definitely say a nice one.
All right, so this is our next dress. And when I say I am loving this dress, I am loving it. So this is another lightweight dress. There is no lining in it. So, you know, if you need to wear something underneath, definitely take that into consideration. This one fits beautifully. You can see the lovely pleats. And then it has like a little uh, tapering right here around the bodice. It does have a zipper to get in, a little puff sleeve. Like it's super cute. And I think it has just enough detail to really make it special. I would definitely recommend this dress. My only issue is that it does pucker around the bust. So if I try to button it up more than just this one button, then it does begin to pucker. And I'm not really that endowed. So if you're larger in the breast area, then you know it might not work for you, especially if you want to uh, button it up. But other than that, I, I wholeheartedly recommend this beautiful dress. All right, so this is our next look, and I am loving this dress, you guys. You know I always like to save the best for last, and this one was definitely a contender. There is nothing that I can say that I don't like about this dress. It is pretty low cut, but this one, I feel like you could still wear a bra or you could wear something decorative or you could probably even go without because there is padding in the bust. So, I mean, they made this so extremely well. The dress does have pocket flaps. These are faux pockets, but in a, in a fitted dress like this, I don't think you would, you know, actually want to put anything in your pockets anyway so it's just a little decorative touch and this is more of a bodycon fit again it's a light ponty knit and this one does have stretch so i did check and this one is a size large and i am a size 12 i'm no longer coming on here saying i'm a size 10. <laughs> i've gained weight so i'm definitely a size 12 and this one fits me very nicely As always, per usual, I save the best for Lizaz. And you guys, hands up, hands down, this is it right here. I am loving this dress. Everything from the color, to the style, to the fit, to the fabric. So this is a balloon sleeve satin dress and it has the uh, purple uh, covered fabric toggle buttons and these ones aren't that difficult to do and undo it does have a side zip for you to get in and out of so you don't even have to deal with the buttons if you don't want to the only thing that's kind of odd is kind of like the boat neck on it but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit different. And then it has the ruching at the bottom uh, to kind of, you know, give you the camouflage and cover that you need. This one is a uh, mini on me. Um, so, you know, take that into consideration if you're not into uh, mini dresses. But I think this is so gorgeous. And again, I'm loving the purple. 
I'm definitely a neutral girl, but I'm trying to do more with color. So my birthstone is Amethyst and Prince is my all time favorite artist. And actually somebody reminded me that when I was young, purple used to be my favorite color. So yeah, that's how old I am. I, I didn't even remember that. But um, I'm really feeling this and I love this dress. All right, everybody, so thanks so much for hanging out with me, Stephanie R. Bridges. Again, this is Stephanie Renee Styles, and I hope you enjoyed all five of those she in dresses. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On May 15th, I'm coming on to, into my one year anniversary and I would love to reach 365 subscribers by that date. So please go ahead, like, comment, share, um, and let's continue to build this family. Again, I appreciate you watching and I am out. I'm going to just say that last part again real quick since it cut me off. Oh, okay. All right. So, thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate you all, and I am out of here. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, my goodness. You didn't finish. You, you didn't ain't start. doing it right. You said shit. Like, <laughs> usually... Like you do it and it's already like, oh, that's my mom. But at least you do it your way. That one. I know, cause you got me. I messed it up, yeah, and they don't. Go, go ahead. We can. All right, all right. I'm gonna try. I feel like I'm under pressure. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm Stephanie R. Bridges. You've been watching Stephanie Renee Styles, and I am out of here. Zoo. Hey. No. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were close, but the ending got a little tough.